I'm Sarah Seckham with the First Presbyterian Church of Lake Forest and thank you for joining me for another story time with Sarah. I chose tonight's book while doing some research on our scripture lesson from yesterday on a website called Story Path where they connect children's literature with with scriptures and I really connected with the comments that connected our lesson with tonight's book so I ran out and bought the book and but here's what they had to share so yesterday in worship we heard the story of Peter attempting to walk on water and sometimes the story is told as a scolding another way that Peter failed Jesus or Peter failed his faith and yes Peter does begin to sink and Jesus does ask about his doubts but there's another way to look at it Peter is the only disciple brave enough to take a chance. The only one with faith enough to give it a try, even if it doesn't work. So today's book is called Sam and Dave Dig a Hole. It's by Mark Burnett with illustrations by John Classen. And in the book, Sam and Dave and their dog decide they want to go on an adventure to find something spectacular. So let's listen to the story and find out what happens. And then join me back here after. Sam and Dave Dig a Hole by Mac Barnett, illustrated by John Classen. On Monday, Sam and Dave dug a hole. When should we stop digging? asked Sam. We are on a mission, said Dave. We won't stop digging until we find something spectacular. The hole got so deep that their heads were underground, but they still had not found anything spectacular. We need to keep digging, said Dave. So they kept digging. They took a break Dave drank chocolate milk out of a canteen. Sam ate animal cookies he had wrapped in their grandfather's kerchief. Maybe, said Dave. The problem is that we are digging straight down. Yes, said Sam. That could be the problem. I think we should dig in, other, in another direction, said Dave. Yes, said Sam. That is a good idea. I have a new idea, said Dave. Let's split up. Really, said Sam. Just for a little while, said Dave. It will help our chances. So Dave went one way and Sam went another. but they did not find anything spectacular. Maybe we should go back to digging straight down, said Dave. Yes, said Sam, that is a good idea. Sam and Dave ran out of chocolate milk, but they kept digging. They shared the last animal cookie, but they kept digging. After a while, Sam sat down. Dave, he said, I am tired. I cannot dig anymore. I'm tired too, said Dave. We should take a rest. Sam and Dave fell asleep.
then Sam and Dave were falling. Sam and Dave fell down, down, down. until they landed in the soft dirt. Well, said Dave. Well, said Sam. That was pretty spectacular. And they went inside for chocolate milk and animal cookies. The end. So in tonight's book, Sam and Dave and their dog go on their adventure to find something spectacular. However, what they can't see as they dig and dig and dig is just how close they are to finding that spectacular something. The enormous jewels buried in the earth, just out of sight. Ultimately, they don't find them, but they end up somewhere else that's very interesting. And the book shows that it was still worth their attempt, worth them trying because it was an adventure and they did end up somewhere. So back to our scripture, Jesus' response to Peter after he sinks isn't, you shouldn't have tried that. His response is, why did you doubt? But he never questioned the attempt at trying. So like Peter, like Sam and Dave, our attempts may not always work. When we try, we may not always succeed or end up where we'd expect, but in a life of faith, we must always be willing to try. I hope you all have a great evening and I look forward to seeing you again here next week. Bye.